Welcome to Brickmania TV, episode 24. I'm Landon Reimer. And I'm Dan Siskin. Cool. Well, welcome to the show. Uh, we'll get right into it here. Um, sure. UTV. Yep. New release for this week. So many of you, uh, especially if you went to World War Brick, will remember mm -hmm. the UTV ultralight uh, tactical vehicle. So this is basically a... a Side-by-side. Side. Yeah, it's a side-by-side, side, uh, you know, ATV-type vehicle that you may know from hunting or if you go out in the woods and like to ride around in 4 by 4s Of course, there's a military version. Uh, so how did, that, how did that version come about? Did a bunch of hunters go out and... <laughs> no, I, I, I'm fairly certain there was, there was a need for a, yeah. a, a vehicle. So these guys that are, you know, doing patrols in large areas, they're, they're going to need to carry equipment and stuff. Lugging it on your back sucks. Right. So this has been the universal thing. How do you carry equipment? still be you know portable sure uh, fast tactical so yeah how would they use this in a combat situation well not that i've ever been in one but <laughs> I, I would i would think speculate that, yeah yeah i think this is you know something you're gonna be patrolling areas you'll be able to go into terrain that sure. um, on foot you can get to it but you would not be able to carry equipment so patrolling maybe uh you know tactical patrol you have your sniper team up up in the, up in the hills uh, and you're carrying large objects. You know, I've seen all different kinds of these UTVs. This is what hap the side by side happens to be the most common. Yep. So, um, like I said, this is this is very similar to the kit we released at World War Brick. Mm -hmm. People have been asking and asking and asking if we're going to do. It's a cool kit. Um, release the UTV to the public. Right. We are. We've kind of like gotten fed up with people putting them on <laughs> eBay at high prices. So um, now you can buy one. They're they're actually quite cheap, quite affordable mm -hmm. for uh, entry level kit. You can fit two guys in the in the seats. Um, obviously, with this, this demonstration model here. This is the decked out version. Yes, this, this is a version that we put together showing mm -hmm. all of the, um, the, the four more recent right. uh, lower priced Brickmania modern guys. And right now, each guy is for sale two bucks off. Yes, we have a special. So this week, code. If, if you buy the Delta, or I'm sorry, if you buy the UTV and buy use the, the coupon code Delta Force, all one word, Delta Force. All caps you get $2 off each of these tactical guys, each of the new cool. modern minifig guys, plus $2 off the uh, minigun. Yep. So, so this package here would be, like, what, 10 bucks cheaper? Yeah, you'll save $10 if you yep. use the coupon code Not Delta bad. Force. Um, you, of course, you don't have to buy the same guys. This is one of each of the, uh, uh, the new modern guys. Sure. Um, sure. You, could, you, could, you could pick and choose what you wanted. Uh, the, the, good, the cool thing is the minigun, $2 off. That's, that's pretty uh, pretty good deal. Nice. Um, so that is the new release, and you know it's cool. This would be great in any modern setup. You can actually. Uh, this is kind of like a night assault version. Um. Yeah, I mean, we, when we were doing research for this, we found different different kinds. There was black, with, you know, pretty much a dark color, which I think is a standard UTV. Sure. And then there was a desert color, uh, yep. like a tan color, um, which of course you could use your own parts and, mm -hmm. and, and mimic. Uh, but either way, it's a great kit and very versatile. Yeah, absolutely. Cool. Well, that's the um, new release for this week. That's right. So, and we also have a restock this week. Sure. Pack 38. Pack 38, yes. German uh, right here. German 50 millimeter anti-tank gun. This is, uh, you know, when the when the Wehrmacht invaded France and Poland, they, they found that their uh, Pack 30, the Pack 36 was mm -hmm. kind of uh, underpowered against some of the more heavy, especially the French tanks. So they immediately went back to the drawing board, came up with a 50 millimeter version. Um, more powerful gun, um, same sort of small compact style. Right. And we've made this. We this came out. I went about it, with six months ago, I think. And uh, we went through our first couple of batches really fast. And, and people have been asking us for more, so we've just got another yeah. hundred uh, hot off the assembly line. The assembly line here at Brickmania, of course, uh, everything we do is handmade. So uh, assembly line is kind of a joke. <laughs> if you can't figure that out. So yeah, this. Uh it packs up like this to be towed. Sure. The yeah, the gun. I mean, everything that's supposed to the gun is supposed to. The gun will elevate a little bit. The um, um, there's there's armored tail or armored armored panels in the front. If you're transporting, you'll push that thing up so it doesn't get caught in the road. Right. Uh, and there's a there's a hook so you can hook it on. There's a so just like that. Yeah. There's a there's a loop, an eyelet here so you can hook it on to be towed by any of uh, so your ambulance vehicles. <laughs> no, there's no trailer hitch on the ambulance. No trailer hitch? No, no trailer hitch. And you probably wouldn't tell But let's say the, the new STK FC 250 <laughs> we had would pull this thing just great. Uh, any one of our vehicles that has a trailer hitch could pull this. Not car. the ambulance. No. Get that so. out of here. <laughs> so, speaking of right. ambulance, we actually have a special yeah. on the ambulance as part of our kit it's of the week. kit of the week. So, 
ambulance. This is the this is the the WC56 ambulance. Mm -hmm. uh, we released this again last year. Um, we're going to do a special. What is the special this week? It is um, regular 125, 25 percent off this week only. Sure. So that would be 93.75. Of course, if you're in a Brick Mania Elite, you're going to get even more off. Right. Um, some cool features about this. This whole model was designed specifically to be super playable. You have the roof comes off so you can access the interior. Um, the, the, the back door opens up. You can you know, get your guys in and out of it. It comes with two stretchers. Um, the stretchers can be removed. You actually get one uh, ambulance driver. He is a medic. He has a custom pad printed uh, uh, Red Cross helmet uh, done by Citizen Brick, I right. believe. And then, uh, of course, there's a nice set of vinyl stickers to uh, right. give your uh, ambulance that real complete look. So this would be here. yep. This would be the European theater model, or yeah, they made these for European theater. Sure. These the the idea of this 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 the KD in the in the WC fifty six KD is knocked down, which means it was sent to um, theater on a ship without the bo the big box on here. They were laid flat. They could actually stack several of these up on top of cool. each other on a ship, yeah. and then they would assemble them in Europe. So these these are really extremely rare in real life in the U.S. because most of them were shipped overseas in World War II. So they either went to Europe or they went into the Pacific Theater where they were assembled. Once they were assembled, they don't ever unassemble them. So they're not, sure. it's not, it's not, you know, it's not worth it, the cargo space on the ship to bring them back. So um, you see them more in Europe, but they do, they were sent to the Pacific as well. All right. So that is the kit of the week special. Yeah. All right. So the next up, we got some a decal promo. It's a buy one, get one for free of the same one for um, some modern guys, zombies, and insurgents. So that goes really well with that UTV release. Yeah, so that's that's pretty much hand in hand with the new the new release. Yep. And also, if you want to up, upgrade your uh, your uh, your minifigs, we have a special bulk discount on right. uh, small, small arms. Small yep. arms. So we have a pistol, we have some grenades, combat knives. Yep. Two cool pistols. stuff. Two pistols. All, all modern stuff. These are these are modern weapons. Um, so there is a bulk special. Arm your guys up. I think if your guys are lacking for grenades and stuff, today's the time to get them. Exactly, exactly. <laughs> All right, what else do we got, Dan? Well, you might see these motorcycles here in front of me. These are, uh, again, we're, we're kind of, uh, this is, this is, these are prototypes from the event kit from World yeah, War Brick. Yeah, check those out. We're getting ready to go to Anaheim, uh, World War Brick. Um, coming up, well, actually, by the time this airs, we will have passed our deadline for the last-minute uh, ticket purchase. So if you go to the website to, to get a... a uh, Weekend pass for World War Break. Weekend pass, mm -hmm. of course, getting you all access Friday, Saturday, Sunday, uh, all the activities, everything. That's going to cost you $100 now. Uh, we're on the home stretch. We always do that a couple weeks before the event. Um, just if there's any tickets left, they're full price. But for our loyal uh, Brickmania TV followers, we're doing a special. What's that? Well, it's World War Brick tickets, uh, this weekend pass tickets for $25 off. That dials you back to the price they were last week. And you just need to use coupon code LAST CHANCE. All capitals, LAST All capital, CHANCE. All capitals, I think one word too. One word. Um, so that's a LAST CHANCE coupon. Use that. If you, if you can use that up until the point if they do sell out, of course, we can't do anything about that. We only have 200 spots, 200 goodie bags. After that, sorry, you're going to have to come on the, the, the public days. Of course, you're just going to be able to look at stuff. Very few activities you can actually participate, other than, of course, the bingo, which everybody loves. That was awesome. <laughs> uh, also, we got some the Fate Pack and the uh, overmolded rocket launcher. Yeah, we've been we've been talking to, to Will Chapman, Online. owner of Brick Arms, um, about getting some more overmolded stuff and getting a little bit, you know, ramping up our production and, and trying to get a little bit more stock because we you know we, we get overmolded, which of course are premium Brick Arms weapons made by market. Will himself. Yep. Yeah, Will himself makes these multiple uh, passes through the the molding process and so we've just got the fate pack of course the fate pack is kind of cool because, right. which is of course inspired by the video game destiny right um, but the weapons in there they're random colors you don't know what you're going to get it's it's kind of cool um, so if you order them online you order three of them you're not going to get the same weapons right. I guarantee they're going to be all mixed up That's cool um, and then some of these more the the more uh, uh, you know, Halo inspired stuff. We're getting some of those back in yep. stock. We also we just got the MG08. This, yeah. is, this is this is something else. I love this thing. Um, these came out at World War Brick last year, and we're available at World War Brick, of Super course. Super awesome jewel case on this. And um, we've been able to get them on and off for the web store. We do have some now. Uh, take advantage of this thing. is beautiful. It is the MG08, of course, the German. 
heavy machine gun from yep. World War I. And this MG0815 is actually a handheld version. They made us these in small amounts. It actually has yeah. a rifle stock and an individual sol soldier if he was, you know. This thing's cool, yeah. Super, yeah. super German, super trooper <laughs> to be able to uh, carry this thing into battle. It's not a, it's not a light gun. It no. is a water-cooled machine gun. Yeah, this particular um, edition comes with this laser cutout. Um, carrying case here. Yeah, and, Super and cool. yeah, everybody geeks out over the carrying <laughs> it's case. Awesome. It's cool. You got to put the whole thing together. Uh, it's almost like you don't even want to take it out of its yeah, case. Yeah, it's, it's so too pretty. Cool. It's a nice little uh, presentation piece. It's got a nice pintle mount here too. As so well. we have those right now. That's a that's a uh, you know it's not going to be cheap, but these are super rare, super cool. limited edition brick arms. That a lot of care, a lot of attention was put into making. Awesome, awesome. Well, anything else, Dan? No, uh, for those coming to World War Brick in Anaheim, we look forward to seeing you. We'll yeah, be there. It's going to be a blast. Valentine's Day weekend. Um, the, like I said, there's still a few weekend passes left. Um, that's your all-access ticket. Um, of course, if you can come on the, uh, uh, just on the public days, too, that'll save you a lot of money if you're just a casual observer. Um, that's a great time to come as well. Be sure to say hello to us. Yeah, we'll, we'll both be there. be there. We'll be there the whole time. So uh, we'll be looking forward to seeing you. Cool. Well, thank you very much for watching. Alright, welcome to some behind the scenes of Brick Mania. Today I'm going to show you how to take an action shot of your Lego minifigures, and this is how I do it. So right here we have a brand new release, this is our Russian guy, that's the official name. He, you can tell that he's Russian by the way that he is. You're going to need a camera if you're going to take pictures. I have here, it's a cannon, they named them cannons because the first cannons were actual cannons used to shoot things, and that's why we call them shooting pictures, because they're cannons. And here I have all our special bricks. This is how I make our sets. So, so I'll put that there, because I think that would go really good with this figure. Um, it doesn't really matter where it goes, because the picture will just, you know, I'll frame it like this sometimes. I've seen that in, like, movies. Um, I don't really know what it's doing, but... So then, yeah, I'll just, I'll take the picture. You know, I've seen photographers move these things around. I don't really know if that, that probably doesn't matter. So you can tell that it's doing something because it's beeping. All right, it took a picture for me. So let's see. Oh, yeah, okay. So here's the secret for all photography. The closer that you get, the better it is. That's a real picture right there. So it's just gonna beep for a while, and each time it's beeping, it's taking the picture. You'll combine all the pictures together into one picture. So as you can see, I'll pop up on the screen here, the final result, and I'm really proud of how this one turned out. And that's how you do photography. Thanks for watching.